It was Agatha all along. And the reactions to the series are in. BD here, welcome back to the YouTube channel. And in this video, we are going to talk about the first wave of reactions to Marvel's Agatha all along. I'm going to share my thoughts because I've seen the first four episodes. And then we'll also talk about whether these reactions and my own thoughts are any indication on what's going to happen with the series as a whole. Because we've seen all of this before. So stick around to the end for a very special cameo because you know there's always something waiting at the end for you and if you don't mind subscribing to the youtube channel to help us as the race to 25,000 subscribers is going really really well thank you for that let's jump in Eric Goldman says the first four episodes of Agatha all along are decent, really dig premiere and its very WandaVision vibes, but second ep is shaky tonally, begins to find itself more in three and four, will predictably make guys who demand badass as the only setting to scream woke and cry like babies. Sophia Soto says, if there was ever a character that deserved her own spinoff series, it's Agatha Harkness. Catherine Hahn is better than ever, thriving as she takes center stage. As for Joe Locke, he is a total scene stealer and will no doubt become a new Marvel fan favorite. Joe Deckermeyer from Screen Rant. Agatha All Along is the perfect follow-up to WandaVision. The first four eps are a delightful mix of Hocus Pocus and The Wizard of Oz with a hint of horror and loads of comedy. This series is insanely fun and engaging. It's got the same captivating vibe as WandaVision. Absolutely love the ensemble cast portraying the coven and Catherine Hahn is brilliant and Aubrey Plaza is outstanding. So already we're leaning pretty positive with Eric being the most mixed right out of the gate and these are tweets I just found in no particular order. I just searched Agatha all along for reactions. I knew when the embargo was lifting and these are the first ones I found. Ron from POC Culture says, I've seen four episodes of Vagatha all along. It's fresh, creepy, and so much fun. The cast is having a blast, and their excitement is infectious. The show has mystery, adventure, and delicious intrigue. Give Jack Schaefer the keys to her own corner of the MCU. Jack Schaefer previously wrote Black Widow and WandaVision, by the way, so that's cool. Daniel Baptista from the movie podcast, Agatha All Along is the perfect show for the spooky season and filled with big witch energy. Catherine Hahn is iconic as ever and delivers a deliciously devious and spellbinding performance. Joe Locke is a scene stealer. This is the most fun you'll have feasting on a show this year. That's a bold claim and I know Daniel doesn't choose his words lightly, so that's a, that's a good reassuring one for Marvel fans. Rachel Leishman from the Mary Sue says, Must be the season of the witch, baby. Agatha all along is the perfect continuation of Westview and everything my witchy soul needed. A perfect blend of Marvel lore for the witchy season, and I cannot wait to see the rest of the series. I, too, want to go down the witch's road. Shabazz, also from the movie podcast, says, Agatha all along will leave you spellbound. The first four episodes bring scares, laughs, pop culture references, and some of the best music in MCU history. Catherine Hahn cackles her way through with her coven of witches, and I can't wait to see how it unfolds. It's the perfect fall show. Rowan Patel from Comic Book Movies says, Agatha All Along is another fun trek into the MCU. The first four apps set up an interesting journey, but it's the cast's amazing chemistry that really carries the show. Catherine Hahn is top-notch, but it's Aubrey Plaza that steals the show. So as you can see already, lots of praise for Catherine Hahn and very sharp praise for Aubrey Plaza, which I have to agree with. Michael Patterson from Bam Smack Pow says, Agatha All Along is absolutely batshit crazy in all the right kind of ways. Catherine Hahn is a force, camping it up as Agatha Harkness like we all knew she would. The rest of the cast is also divine, and Joe Locke is a gem. And we'll wrap it up here. Rayan from Cinegeek News says, Agatha All Along is a crazy, wicked fun, mystery-filled journey that also has some actually terrifying scenes. Wasn't too excited, but became a total fan after watching. Compared to other Disney Plus shows, it actually feels like TV in both both writing and pacing can't wait for more so very positive stuff this is again i did not try to find positive stuff or negative stuff i just typed in agatha all along on twitter these are the reactions i found i found some of my friends i found some people i'm not familiar with and i featured them in this video just to try to keep it as neutral as possible now my thoughts i thought agatha all along was pretty good i thought tonally it was a little uneven and i think the first two episodes could have just been one episode which it makes it a wise decision that they're releasing both of those episodes on the first day of this they ended up kind of starting off really slowly and then finding their groove by the end of episode two, which is when I was finally really on board. Catherine Hahn's great. Aubrey Plaza is even better. And that's not a jab at Catherine Hahn. Aubrey Plaza is just that good. And the people who want to see them roll around on the ground and fight each other, you're going to be served really, uh, really well. You're going to be eating good. Uh, and Joe Locke is great. I think Joe Locke grew on me by the third episode. I really cared for Joe Locke's character. Uh, it took me a second to warm up to him, but he came. I came around and I thought he was really, really good. And honestly, Deborah Jo Rupp, fantastic. She's the true scene stealer. I'm shocked nobody was tweeting about her. Uh, I really, really, really loved having Mrs. Hart from WandaVision back. And in fact, there's a lot, a really good amount 
of WandaVision references, both clearly in full-on character returns, and that includes Agatha, Mrs. Hart, a lot of the neighbors from Westview, but also just in references. There's things that we're going to be like, oh, I remember that from WandaVision, especially if you rewatched it. But WandaVision was such a fun, lightning-in-a-bottle type of moment where everybody was watching at home, and this show seems like it's doing more to say, hey, you watched WandaVision, remember this thing? We're going to reward you for it. Remember that thing? We're going to throw it out there. And maybe they don't even matter, they're just fun references, but they're there, and that that to me is fun after Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness essentially just kind of disregarded WandaVision other than the jingle. So I don't think this show would have been greenlit necessarily if it was thought of today. I think this is a product of the we're going to make a whole bunch of stuff. Everybody gets a show era of Marvel Studios, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and Disney. It feels like a comic, which I think is a good thing. It doesn't feel like an event comic. It doesn't feel like how Marvel used to feel when it was happening. Everybody needed to watch it immediately. It doesn't necessarily capture that. I, I'm, I don't know how this is going to resonate with wider audiences, but I enjoyed it. It took me a second to buy in. It's not instantly my favorite Marvel title, but it was fun, and I enjoyed it, and I really thought it was very stylish. Um, I think it might get a little redundant in the formulaic way they're going down the witch's road, which I'm not going to say more than that because I don't want to spoil anything. Episodes 3 and 4 start to feel a little bit formulaic, and if 5 and 6 follow that, that's going to be an issue. So I want to remember what happened with Secret Invasion. The first two episodes of Secret Invasion were fantastic, phenomenal. I was like, this is going to be great. And then, mm, we all saw what happened. So now with these Disney Plus shows, I tend to just be like, all right, I did enjoy that. I really enjoyed that. But is the rest of the show going to be good? The reasons I think it could be really good is because Catherine Hahn and this Agatha character are full of mystery. The mystery itself, I didn't find the mystery itself to be super engaging, but I find the path to the answer to be very interesting. Of course, we have the questions of, is Wanda Maximoff going to show up? You know, Marvel fans, there's a lot for us to wonder, to think about. I don't want to get into a bunch of theories. This is just a reactions video. But there's a Good chance that Marvel fans are going to be really well served by the time Agatha All Along wraps up, especially those of us who watched WandaVision and Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness and were part of the theory discussion back then. Catherine Hahn, Aubrey Plaza, and Joe Locke are really going to carry this thing, and the ensemble nature of the coven does a really good job, seemingly also providing room for improv and them to just have fun together. I really, really enjoyed the dynamic between them, especially as they got going. Uh, and that's, well, I won't say what episode that's in. Uh, but what could draw it back is the formulaic nature of 3 and 4 that I just said earlier. I think that that could be a bit of a drawback. And if the mystery doesn't have a good payoff, that's going to be a bummer. I feel like a lot of the Marvel Disney Plus shows set up kind of questions and all kinds of stuff. And they're usually only six episodes. And by the time we get to that fifth episode, we usually get an answer. And then we get a big bombastic fight in episode six in a new costume. I don't know if this is going there. Clearly, this is something that's building towards a mystery paying off. And maybe some sort of action and some sort of history of Agatha Harkness being revealed field, which already there's there's loads of stuff giving us some, not maybe not loads, but there is a good amount of uh, groundwork laid and, and, and kind of filled in a bit in these first few episodes to, to add some, some uh, context to Agatha's life and journey throughout this history of the MCU that we haven't seen other than some parts of WandaVision. So ultimately, I think this is going to be a fun series. I did enjoy the first four episodes, honestly, more than I thought I was going to, and we can't say for sure whether or not that means the series as a whole is going to be fantastic, but the cast is really, really good. They've been given some really stylish stuff to work with, and I think that's a good indication that they might have a good destination on this. And I also think Marvel just realizes the importance of landing a ship nowadays. They've had a lot of opportunities to learn on the TV front, and I do believe because of that, there's a pretty good chance Agatha All Along ends up having a really good journey and finale. I do have a question for everybody. Do you think Wanda Maximoff is going to show up in Agatha All Along in any way at all. Will we see Elizabeth Olsen in this series? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks so much for hanging out and watching this video. Thanks for always supporting and thank you for subscribing. We're on our way to 25,000 subscribers. We're going to hit it much sooner than I ever thought we would, so thank you for that. Stay tuned to the end because I promised you a cameo and you're going to get it. And I'll see you in the next video, everybody. Let me know what you want to see in those next videos and I will do my best to listen and learn and just have fun on YouTube with you guys. See ya.
Hey, it's Jamie, honored to once again be on Brandon's YouTube channel. And once again, I'm in an Uber on the way to a premiere. But as you can tell, this time, it's Agatha all along. I was invited by a cosplay friend, so this is my first time going to premiere as a cosplayer. I don't know what to expect, but I can tell you I have seen the first four episodes, and I love it. I love it so much. It's everything I wanted it to be and more. Uh, if you've been excited about this show, you're not going to be disappointed. If you've been on the fence, I don't know, maybe it's not going to be for you. Not everything has to be for you, but I can tell you it's for me. It was worth the wait. I've, I'm just so excited for everyone to see this show.